Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for July 29th. Today is Monday and we're celebrating the memorial for Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Let's have our moment of silence to prepare us for prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. To my, to words, my words, give, give ear, O Lord. Lord. Give, give heed to, to my groaning. Attend, attend to the, the sound of my cries, my, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You, you are, are no God, God who loves, who loves evil. evil. No, no sinner, sinner is, is your guest. guest. The, the boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But, but I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No, no truth can, can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief. Their throat is wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them. In you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the best man. Lord, you surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. We praise your glor glorious name, Lord, our God. Bless may be, O Lord, God, God of Israel, Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty, 
you are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you, and you have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks and praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord, our God. Adore the Lord in his holy court. O give the Lord, your, your sons of God. God. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of His name. Adore the Lord in His holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters. The Lord on the immensity of waters. The voice of the Lord full of power. The voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars. The Lord shatters the cedars of the Lebanon. He makes Lebanon live like a cow, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire. The Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Cadiz. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry, Glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adore the Lord in His holy court. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. Your spiritual worship, do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind so that you may judge what is God's will what is good, pleasing, and perfect. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy Monday, brothers and sisters. Today the Church is celebrating the memorial of St. Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. It was this family was a close family to Jesus. And every time that Jesus came to Bethania, he visited them to experience the family spirit and friendship that they offer to him. As we know, Martha always busy cooking, cleaning, and do whatever task she needs to be done in order to bring hospitality to Jesus. Mary, on the other hand, she used to sit next to Jesus to listen, to hear his word, and learn from everything that Jesus wants to share. And we had the brother Lazarus who emerged from the tomb at the command of Jesus after he was dead for several days. So brothers and sisters, 
this family of Mary, Martha and Lazarus, it can teach us as well how we need to behave, how important it is to do our tasks in life. For instance, going to visit the sick people, cooking for the hungry people, listen to the people in need, and so on and so on. Lazarus' resurrection, he was an example of a lot of us that in the past we were dead because of sin. And thank us to the Lord, now we are here trying to follow his footstep and follow his commandments, which is what he wants us to do. It's important to give the value of the different tasks, ordinary tasks that we do during our day, during you know, any encounter that we have with our brothers and sisters. So let's be open to do whatever we need to do in order to bring that good message that the Lord has for us and for, for everybody. As we know, Pope Francis added in 2021 to this memorial, because in the beginning it was only Martha that we celebrated. But uh, after the 2021, now we included Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. As we continue this morning prayers, let's open our heart and continue grow in faith and asking the Lord to give us gifts talents that we can put in practice for all those people in need. Mary, St. Mary, St. Martha, and St. Lazarus praying for us. Let the just rejoice in the presence of God. Let, Let the, the just rejoice in the presence of God. Let them be filled with gladness in, in the, the presence of God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Let, Let the just rejoice in the presence of God. Martha said to Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, He who is to come into the world. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, He who is to come into the world. 
My brothers and sisters, let us praise Christ, asking to serve Him to be holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. Let us acclaim Him. Lord, you alone are the Holy One. You desire to experience everything we experience but sin. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us, Lord Jesus. Jesus. You called us to love perfectly. Make, Make us, us holy, Lord Jesus. Jesus. You commissioned us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Let, Let your light shine on us, Lord Jesus. You desired to serve, not to be served. Help us, Lord Jesus, to give humble service to you and to our neighbors. You are in the form of God, sharing in the splendor of the Father. Lord Jesus, let us see the glory of your face. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Lord, you, you alone, alone are, are the Holy One. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Grant me pray, Almighty God, that the example of your saints may spur us on to a better life, so that we who celebrate the memory of Saint Martha, Mary, and Lazarus may also imitate without ceasing their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.